Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with the Saturday vloggy thing. That's right, it's all about what's been going on, what's coming up, and all the yarny goodness that has happened this week so far. Um, first off, well, it's been a crazy week. There's been a lot of work. Um, yeah, <laughs> mostly a lot of work. Uh, I've been work doing 60 plus hours a week again, so that doesn't leave as much time for crochet and stuff as I would like. And, uh, eh, but there was some awesomeness that happened this week. There are some videos from earlier in the week you should check out. I do try to do my Happy Mail videos and haul videos kind of as they happen. So always check. There, there's different things that happen throughout the week here on this little uh, lovely place of mine, Crochet Life and Stuff. As you may recall, several weeks back, I did order um, some seeds from Jimmy Pickles. Uh, seed company. He mostly does hot peppers. He does some mild stuff too. You know, support the small businesses. It, it's fascinating to me, all the, the growing stuff. Even though I've never, well, I've tried growing tomatoes before and then birds ate them and I was like, I can't keep anything alive because everything else gets it first. That was years ago. Uh, never tried to grow anything from seeds, but I did order some seeds and they came beautifully packaged in here. They're ready to go. I got extras. It was awesome. But then I was like, the heck do I do with these things? I've never tried to, to put anything in the ground like this before. Well, I was on uh, one of his live chats. Um, he goes live at least several days a week, you know, in the morning, just kind of get, doing things and getting ready, separating seeds. He's talking and he's a lot of fun. Um, and in his chat, he was like, just ask questions. And you know, the gardening community and the pepper community is actually very, very helpful. A lot of fun people. You may know Garden State Gardener Joe. Um, he is part of that pepper community and he's kind of crossed over to the crochet community too. I mean, think about the cake giveaways on Sundays. Hello. But uh, he was in there too. And I said, you know, total noob. No, nothing. What are the basic things that I need to grow things, you know, <laughs> to do this thing? And before Jimmy even saw the question, Joe was like, he was on it, answering. And he said some things, and he said, um, a, a, a heat mat, a seed mat. And I was like, heat mat, check. That's literally what I said. I was like, I thought, you know, file it away in the brain, go look it up later, because I wasn't exactly sure what that was. Long story short, I get the mail the other day. Well, actually, I'm sitting working because I work from home and hubby brings in the mail. One of the packages I knew I was getting because it's a package of medications. And the other package, he's like, did you order something from Amazon? I said, I don't think so. But that's one of those things. Sometimes you order stuff and, and forget that you ordered it. So eh, I didn't think I had. And as it turns out, and yes, this has already been opened because I was trying to figure out what the heck it was. This comes in. And he's like, well, he's squeezing the package. It doesn't feel like yarn because that's usually his first thing is it's going to be yarn. So I open it up and I look at it. No note in there or anything. It's a seedling heat mat professional germination kit. I was like, oh my God, who did this come from? So I, I sent an email to Joe and I'm like, did you send this? And he replied back. He's like, yeah. He said, just consider that part of your member benefits. You know, next month, every couple of months, he does um, giveaways to the people that are members of his channel. And I'm a member of Joe's channel. And I've gotten some cute little kits for crochet things and stuff before. And um, I just wasn't expecting this. And I'm kind of tickled, actually. So the hubby and I have talked. We've decided on a place to set up a little place to attempt to, to grow some things and we're gonna get a light, you know, one of the, the grow light thingies, nothing expensive or, you know, first time, it's gonna be a Walmart adventure. But um, I'm just so tickled and I haven't even taken it out of the box yet because I'm like, okay, I have to wait until I can sit down and look at it and study it and, and pet it obviously um, to see what I need to do. And I know that I need to like go to the store and get some things. So yay, I'm kind of excited, I'm kind of nervous. I have not had good luck growing things before attempting it. You know, sometimes there has been feline intervention. Sometimes there was, you know, avian intervention. So we'll see if I can grow some sweet or mild peppers. And 
who knows what else we also have like an herb kit that we had purchased like a dollar tree or something so we'll you know put that into there too and see if we can grow some herbs so yes crochet life and stuff always stuff so kind of excited about that I have to set this down let me pause this so I can put it down and not like drop it someplace okay that is put down now thank you um also this week I said medications coming in I'll be starting some new medications to help try and take care of some skin issues because uh eczema and psoriasis yay <laughs> new laundry list of things you know new things to add so that medicine has come in so hopefully I can take care of some of this because I haven't even done any um tutorials or anything because my hands are in such bad shape no matter how much lotion or anything I do matter of fact my skin starts to split right on my thumb it's not big it's almost paper cut like but it's right where you hold the flipping hook so it's like ow ow eventually you just ow enough that you can tune it out anybody who's dealt with pain you know what I'm talking about um but it's it's annoying so there's a lot of that okay so what have I been working on crochet wise oh before that there is a new cow that's going to be coming up that uh Lisa Ladybird loves Lisa Ladybird loves hopefully I put it up here if I don't you know forget to do that um it's a mystery cow all she told us was you will need up to but probably not quite 400 yards of a bulky six so I've I looked in my stash and I'm like gosh it's a hot mess in here right now because I was looking for yarn last night and I couldn't find it I knew I had it where did I put it oh no not this though I was looking for yarn for something else I'll show you in a minute but I pulled my sixes out the other day and I was like what wants to be in this cow my yarn has to tell me what it wants to be before it ends up getting used I bought this oh gosh um early in 2021 when I made my first little knits order ever um because it was on sale and I didn't know what I was going to do with it so this is what's going to be used it is is it Schockenmeyer Schockenmeyer Studebaker whatever it is Lova this is 61% acrylic 30% wool 3% polyamide and it's made in Italy for Coats Craft I think that's what it says each one of these balls is 50 grams 50 meters which is about 55 yards it says and I've got 10 balls of it because it's like a really good deal to get that much so I have plenty to do whatever's going to happen this is a chain spun yarn I'm hoping it doesn't end up being too thin it classifies as a bulky six but because of that chain spun when you kind of pull on it it gets thin so don't know I do like working with chain spun no splitting ever hello love it and this actually it, it's of course she said it's not a garment it doesn't start until February beginning of February um, so I'm ready I've got this I'm ready but she says it's not a garment of any kind so we'll see what this is going to end up being but I've got my yarn for it it's sorted okay put that right there you'll see this a shoe box hanging out here my big old shoe box from a pair of my shoes so you know it's big and in it are ball bands and I showed this last week and if you hear that noise in the background that is Oscar attempting to get a lizard through the window and through the blinds yeah not gonna happen um, make sure you watch last week's video all the way to the end to find out what this is about and why it will be important to you okay I know I left some other things to talk about oh a uh, just something that I started because I was just craving another hat um, this is the start of the crochet version of the bush tracker beanie that crystal bag a day put out and I'm doing it in these two colors the variegated will be the, the regular ribbed parts and the solid will be the herringbone in this version of it these are heat wave that I got at Ollie's from a haul like in the past put this aside oh and the hubby the hubby is so sweet a lot of my projects that I've been doing take a five millimeter hook and I like to keep my hook with the project because it keeps me from losing it basically it keeps me from picking it up and getting grabbing the wrong size hook or whatever and with my thumb hurting it hurts to use this but I was using it I'm like I need some more ergonomic five millimeter hooks and he says well where can you get them you know he actually looked pulled it up you know at, at Jeff Bezos house okay and uh 
I was like, any of these? Or do some searching in there. So I typed in what I wanted, which is the Clover Amore. And they were out of stock. Couldn't find Clover Amore 5mm by itself anywhere. So he was looking at some of the other Clovers, the other hooks. And there's another version that I've not tried yet. So he ordered one. <laughs> so I've got a hook coming um, that I'll get to try out and try a different version. We'll see how that feels in my hand. So yay. Yay for a very sweet hubby who is not interested in crochet at all, but just likes to support me. Absolutely awesome. Um, ongoing uh, thing all year long that you'll be getting updates on is my temperature project. Let me show you how it's going and show you why doing these squares is not going to be that bad of a thing for me. Okay. This is the first 19 squares. Not It's only the first 17 days because I did start off with a very messy um, 22 for the year, 1 for the month. And the inner color is the low for the day. The outer color is the high. And it's joined in white, which is also one of my inner colors. Um, when I got to the end of my 19 squares, I crocheted across the top. These are joined together and I join them every day. Now the next three are still, well they're in my hand, hello. Um, I put a little stitch marker so I knew which was the front and which was the starting side of it. This is the next three. Once I get all 19 of these, I'll crochet across and join the two rows together. So it's not overwhelming at the end of the year. Yeah, I'll probably do a border at the end of the year, but it'll all already be put together. And I'm kind of jazzed with the way the colors are working up. All my little squares are kind of cute. Oh, and I had one where it snowed where I did a very poor attempt at a snowflake. There it is. <laughs> Y'all. It's, it's a sad snowflake, but it's on there. <laughs> I've never done one. I didn't have time to look up a tutorial. So there is that. That lives in here with the two hooks that I use for this. My little hook is a thrill, three millimeter that I'm using for anything that I put on top of it you know, like a, a date or anything. And then this is my five millimeter clover more that I already have. That lives in here because it's going to live with this project. Now right now, it's all staying in here. Once it starts getting a little bigger, um, it'll be in the other bag with the yarn, except for whatever I'm working on right then. Oh, and I almost forgot to put my book back. Cannot do that because uh, this book has the temperatures and I've been putting in there what color number I numbered my colors to make it a little bit easier um, some samples and mess ups where I've chosen the wrong color and I've got my chart here with how the colors go and the colors that I have chosen so yeah I think I'm gonna like it it's looking pretty cool and like I said just doing a little bit every day I usually get it finished on my lunch break every day while I'm working so that's not bad something else that I'm working on an actual another crochet along yes it's in a Halloween bag no it's not a Halloween project um, is the hashtag rock 2022 AU or is it 2022 rock AU whichever it is I'll have it in the description and I'll try to link up here to uh, Judy at Witch Piece Crafts and I think I showed you last week the first square because every two weeks she gets an album pulled by her husband and or son and we are to do either a project or a row or whatever it is that we're doing, taking some inspiration off of that. Uh, the first week was, was the album uh, Welcome to the Fun House or is it just Fun House by Pink? And this is what I came up with off the colors on the front of the album. Um, album colors can be very different from what the, you know, the actual artist and everything is. But those colors are pretty much all in the album, and I thought that was kind of cool. The pink I had heard of. I had heard songs off that album. Very familiar with it. The next one is uh, the album Spirit of Place by an Australian band called Goana. And I had never heard of them, and I look at their story and stuff, and it's actually kind of cool. Um... This is a very rough representation of the colors that are on the album. Because I am doing corner to corner, you don't exactly get thin lines. There's black and yellow in there. There's some oranges and pinks like from the sunset. And there's a big rock there. So I just kind of, you know, my interpretation. 
these will be joined together in a large blanket and that's what's going to happen so every two weeks i've got a square easy enough for me to keep up with with my crazy schedule so i'm super happy about that um, that lives in this bag and what i'm using for it is another bag within a bag this is a six millimeter hook. This is also a Clover Amore. So I, maybe I'll eventually have a collection of those things. But yeah, I definitely need another five because I use fives for so much stuff. Uh, what else is going on? I'm just going crazy with all of the stuff that I want to do and not enough time to do it. I want to start working on a lightweight shawl for wings. Um, so that's a thing. I've got the yarn picked out that I want to use and it's very lightweight and I just I just have to start it. But, you know, time. There aren't enough hours in the day. Hubby's like, you need to go to sleep earlier. I'm like, there aren't enough hours in the day. I got more I want to do. Yeah. So there is all of that. I do want you though, too, if you haven't already, please like this video. Leave a comment, you know. Make sure that you go back and check last week's vloggy thing. You never know what you might miss. Hello. Um, oh, also this bracelet, just to let you know, this was made by the lovely Jane. Um, used to be Be Yourself with Jane. She has changed her channel name. I will try to link her up here or down below. She is awesome and she makes beautiful bracelets and necklaces and stuff. And I love this because it's purple. This was off of one of Crystal Bag of Days patterns. Um, if I can find it again, I will link it as well. I made this during the bottle on. Um, so yeah, just my crochet bits for the day. Now I need to sign off here and go back to work. I'm not even kidding. It's a Saturday and I'm working. Um, hopefully I will see you very soon. I've got book look coming tomorrow. Monday there's time for tea. Tuesday snacks around the world and you never know what else might pop up. I hope to see you very, very soon. Thank you for coming by. Appreciate you. Take care.